We're going to be launching the drone from the Wave Runner to get those great shots, and part of that is practicing and making sure that you can do it properly. We're going to turn off the sensors, and uh, hopefully the drone will come close enough and we can grab it. It is definitely a risky operation with an expensive drone, but sometimes you have to uh, go through those, uh, those risks in order to get the great shots. I've got my lovely assistant, Casey. We're gonna try and launch the drone from the Wave Runner and m m most importantly, retrieve it. <laughs> launching the drone from a Wave Runner, take one. Prior to launching the drone out in open water from the Wave Runner, it was important for me to get a feel for how the drone would react when it came back to the ski, if it would be standoffish or uh, would I have no problems moving it uh, forward and reverse. Uh, with regards to the sensors. So basically the plan was to launch and retrieve the drone several times from the Wave Runner docks where the ski was stationary and I could stand on it and kind of simulate uh, having limited amount of room to move around. I soon found that launching the drone with the joysticks was almost impossible while you're holding the drone and the controller at, one, at the same time. Luckily DJI has another method set up in their software for launching the drone where you just swipe the iPad or device that you're viewing. You've got to be super careful to keep your fingers clear of the propellers and I learned fairly quickly that when landing the drone you need to keep a firm grip on it as e even though the sensors are turned off the drone seemed to power up and try to escape my grasp. All right, catching the drone from a wave runner, take one. Okay, that wasn't bad. It's important if you try this crazy stunt that you make sure you turn off your sensors. I've just determined that the drone will not come close enough to the wave runner. It avoids uh, coming too close so that you uh, are not able to catch it if the sensors are, are on. So you want to disable them before you attempt this. Before I land, I'm going to go into my settings and disable the front and, and rear sensors. And you'll click on the three dots on the right hand side of your screen and it'll say enable vision, visual obstacle avoidance. And you want to turn that off. You have to be in normal mode to do that. If you're in a quick shot mode, you're, it, it will not allow you to turn the sensors off. So my sensors are off, you hit OK, and now I can bring the drone in for a landing. You want to, from the main screen, click on these three little dots over here, and then it'll bring up this screen, and then you want to click on this icon, the second icon right there, and it'll bring up the Enable Visual Obstacle Avoidance uh, screen, and you can switch it on or off from there and uh, when you switch it to the off it'll ask you to verify uh, disable uh, stereo vision sensors and you just want to click OK. Be sure to remember and turn the enable visual obstacle avoidance uh, switch back on. The engines fire up uh, extra hard when you when you go to grab it and you just hang on tight and you can bring it down safely. Uh, we've practiced a few times and I think we're comfortable enough to try it out in the ocean to get those great shots. So we'll give it a we'll give it a go. What do you think, Case? I think it'll be good. Okay. We made a stop at the sandbar so I could have a few more practice takeoffs and landings before heading into open water. Keep in mind we had a super calm day with very light winds under 10 knots and seas under one foot. You might not want to try this if you have rougher seas or higher winds. 
I'm at Alligator Lighthouse here and just getting ready to launch the drone. All right, we've got, we've got some great shots of the lighthouse. I'm gonna be uh, catching the drone now. As I have it in, I have the sensor disabled and I'm bringing it in for a landing. Bingo. Thumbs up. Awesome. Got some unbelievable shots there and well worth the, the risk there. Some of those shots are just incredible on a day like today. It's just crystal clear water out the lighthouse here and couldn't be better for flying the drone. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. I like to keep the drone in a hard case and the uh, controller iPad in a Ziploc bag and in a padded case. And then I store them in a uh, little storage bin that I can easily reach over and put into the front here. Just make sure none of, none of it is sticking out on the sides. Otherwise you get some water in your, in your front compartment. But just like that, and then we're sealed up perfect. 